everybody. Welcome back to Get Hooked Outdoor Ministries. This afternoon, me and old hood man is uh, putting out deer corn, trying to get a head start on the uh, deer season. It won't be just a few months that uh, both season will be in, and it'll be time to get up in the tree out in the woods and try to stick a, a good old buck or old fat doe one. But uh, w when you think about deer, deer hunting, and like us putting this corn out, uh, getting a head start, because deer's got a natural instinct. Uh, they were born with an instinct, and they have one desire. Uh, deer have one desire, and that's to live. They have one desire to live. And, and to do that, God's would instill within these deer instincts that help them to survive and to live because uh, not very many predators are after deer, but man's after deer. So uh, deer are smart. God give them a sense of, of smell that's uh, beyond human smell. They can smell things from a long ways. They use their nose to... To detect things they use the wind most of the time they walk into the wind so that they can catch the smell coming toward them trying to make sure everything's safe uh, their eyesight is extremely well uh, that's why we use camouflage that's why we climb up in trees or either get inside of uh, uh, ground blinds to try to cover our scent but also to, to cover ourselves so they can't see us as easily uh, so, so between their eyes and their nose and then they also have an excellent uh, sense of hearing uh, so they're able to hear things so deer use these senses to stay alive that that's their goal is to stay alive and and deer travel certain areas certain ways they come in certain ways they leave certain ways they bed down in certain areas all this has to do with living and, and I want to talk to you uh, this afternoon about dying to live uh, I'm, I'm gonna read to you out of Luke chapter nine starting in verse 23 the bible says this it says and he said to them all if any man will come after me let him deny himself take up his cross and follow me for whosoever will save his life shall lose it but whosoever will lose his life for my sake the same shall save it for what is a man advantage if he gained the whole world and lose himself or be cast away you know when we get saved God puts within us an instinct and that instincts the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit lives within our hearts and the Holy Spirit has one desire and that is to live for Christ and just like where the deer has a sense of smell sense of hearing and a in a, 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 a soup souped up vision God gives us those things through the Holy Spirit and, and God asks us the Bible says Jesus says take up your cross and follow me and what that means is Give me your life. Take up your life and follow me. And if you'll follow me, I'll lead you and guide you and you'll live. And because there, we, we can go through life without really living life. Because living living is having joy. Living is being fulfilled. And, and the only way to do that is through Christ Jesus. So he gives us the Holy Spirit to guide us. And he gives us that sense of, of hearing and that sense of vision. And he gives us a spiritual uh, understanding that we didn't have before we were saved and for us to live and we should be dying to live for jesus christ so for us to live for jesus and do it uh effectively and be successful at that we've got to we got to use what god's given us through the holy spirit so i just want you to think about that take that in because god gives us the spiritual sense he gives us the word he gives us the holy spirit who gives us a conscience a conviction in our heart when when, when we get to the place where we're to make a decision is this the right way or the wrong way you know the deer when he stops and he listens and he looks and he smells to to see if it's safe to go forward that if he needs to go left or if he needs to go right to stay safe we we face those things every day in our walk with christ and in our lives where we we come to that that v in the road where we we have a decision to go left or right to go the right way the wrong way and in our in our in our old nature that old man wants to fight against the new man so god gives us the holy spirit to to give us a keen sense spiritually to know which way we should go but what we have to do is, is obey that now see here's the thing with deer these deer, this corn we just poured out and scattered out, it's not natural for this corn to be here. And these deer know that. There's no corn fields, no corn planted. It's, so they know there's something up with this corn. And it'll take, especially a, an old buck. The old buck, he's a little smarter than the doe. It, he, he's a little more sensitive about coming into this corn. Uh, I don't have feeders because feeders a lot of times 
uh, I say I don't have, I'm not putting one here because I, there's a good buck in this area I hope to kill this year, but, but bucks are a little scary or weary of those feeders, so they, they, they tend to hang back and it takes longer. But what happens is these old deer begin to, this food's good, they know it's good, they love corn, and even though they know it's not supposed to be here, they let their guard down and their senses down, and when they do, they come in and begin to eat, and, and, and after they get com more and more comfortable coming into this you know a lot of they'll start a lot of times by coming in at, in, at night at dark where you can't hunt but eventually they begin to come into the daytime and when they let their senses down and, and their guard down and when they do that's when we kill them that's also the same way with us in our walk with Christ. If we let our guard down, and even though we know something's not right, but it tastes good, feels good, looks good, friend, if we let our guard down, that's when Satan's going to get us. And when he gets us, he sucks all the joy out of our lives. So to live for Jesus, we've got to take our lives and follow Christ, and we do that by following that spiritual nature that he's given us through the Holy Spirit. God bless you. I love you. Appreciate you tuning in today. Me and old hood man's thankful that you tune in. Uh, I want to ask you to please, as soon as you this video goes off, hit the share button. Share this video. Share our uh, outdoor, our Get Hooked Outdoor Ministry page so we can get the word out. Got a lot of great things. In the next few weeks, I'm going to have some hunting videos. Uh, going to take some kids hog hunting and uh, video that and use that in our devotion. So just a lot of good things that we got planned coming up to, to help better uh, this ministry and to use it more for God's glory. God bless you. We love you and pray you have a blessed day.